Greetings, family. What's going on? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's I Am Young Black Man coming back at y'all with a video. Um, as we speak right now, it's officially, officially, well, it depends on what calendar you go by. But if you go by the regular American calendar, it's officially uh, the last day of 2018. As we go into 2019, I honestly want to say that uh, we got to be ready and uh, truly excited to see what the new year bring. 2018 was a year of experience, was a year of growth. Um, if I had to use one word to define 2019, 2018, excuse me, um, it was um, it was completing, not completion, meaning uh, past tense, but completing, meaning the Most High still has me on the journey of completing everything that He wants me to do. And every single thing that has happened, both good and bad, but mainly truly blessed to say good, uh, good things that have happened um, have been uh, to help further complete and write the chapters of my life um, and so forth and so on. Uh, so I'm just truly blessed and privileged by that. Truly blessed and honored that y'all are uh, still rocking with me through the journey. Uh, not to spoil it, but I'm going to go ahead and announce it. We've finally reached 100 subscribers. It's taken forever. But then again, I ain't been back since forever. I had one person or two people subscribe within the last 24 hours. So it's fitting and and, and it would be uh, for me in this channel that uh, we finally hit 100 subscribers on the very last day of 2018. That's something that I definitely wanted to accomplish. And believe it or not, that's something that I put um, inside of one of my notebooks that I wanted to accomplish and hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. So for that to actually happen, that's one thing we actually got to be able to accomplishment that we actually being able to cross off and it's just funny how everything happened again the most how it works uh in ways that uh, we truly uh are blessed and privileged to even just experience uh so you know appreciate everybody who subscribed family we're going to push out that content more and more and i'm going to try to see can i start uh even doing content uh either daily or uh every other day and so forth and so on but y'all didn't Come here just to hear about that what you really wanted to come here here new year's 2019 what's the mindset uh that we must have for 2019 well first and foremost i like to use words the word that i want to use for 2019 is now is now and forevermore is now uh it's a four letter word if you see who i got in the thumbnail my boy killmonger from black panther uh one the best movies of all time and and one of my favorite characters in, now I, i'm going ahead and say it, my favorite character in the movie how the brother has such a uh and although he did it from a perspective of hurt and past trauma he has such a laser focus on what he wanted to accomplish in life and although he was ruthless i'm not saying do it ruthless do everything with integrity do everything uh through the guidance of the most high and always have morals and principles it was just a it was just an edge about him and uh chichala's cousin i can't remember who the brother was you can see it in their eyes. It's such a laser. It's such a laser focus in their eyes right now in that movie. And that scene right there with the hey auntie, that's just man, that was one of my favorite scenes. But anyway, the mindset that we need to have is now. We need to have laser focus on achieving every single thing that we do. Uh our that's the our, our mindset, that should be our thought process, that should be everything. Um, I was in the drive through and of course I shouldn't have been there. It should have been uh probably give me a chipotle bowl but i was in the drive through at a fast food restaurant i saw a young brother there and it reminded me of one of my very first jobs younger brother and it reminded me of one of my very first jobs as well and i acknowledge him nodding my head and treat him with respect like i always do any per any person i can encounter and i thought about something i said this brother young brother right here is working this job but temporarily his mind said if he had laser focus he can not only uh become manager of this uh mcdonald's or burger king he can not only become manager he can become owner uh of a franchise above that he can then go open up his own restaurant put his own name on it and it'd be deandre's or it'd be uh malcolm's or it'd be marcus it would be whatever and carry that same clout that same legacy that same name uh but us doing it even with more greater morals and principles and thought process of community what if that brother had that laser focused mindset in 2019 that I'm talking about? That he does not just see himself as being a brother on fries. He did not just see his brother as being himself a dude on a cash register, but he sees himself visualizing himself as a manager, district manager, a eventual owner uh, uh, of franchises, eventual owner of his own restaurants, of his putting his own name, his own legacy. 
leaving a legacy for not only his uh, family, but his children and children to come. This is the mindset that we must have in 2019. So from top to bottom, whichever your job might be, whichever your life might be, whichever circumstance that you're going through, we must have a laser focus and know that we need to be the best followers possible, be the best community leaders possible, be the best men possible, be straightforward, be on our purpose, be on our grind, be on our hustle, doing everything with uh, righteousness and the most high call us to be, be men of the most high. And I thought about that and it brought me to uh, a video by Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher, where he said, uh, first quarter. The exact title is Dominate Your First Quarter. And he talked about uh, Packers versus uh, Dallas Cowboys. If y'all remember that game uh, where it was for the NEC Championship, I believe like two years ago or three years ago. And the Packers, uh, Aaron Rodgers hit uh, Jared Cook for that like 29 uh, yard reception. He barely got it in. They kicked the field goal, won the game, went to the NFC Championship. Uh, eventually lost. I can't remember who it was. But he said all this to say this. He said, I pose to you the thought process that the Packers didn't win the game in the fourth quarter, but they won the game in the first quarter. The Packers never lost a quarter and they were never behind. The team that played the hardest in the later rounds were the teams that had to play catch up. But the Packers were able to play and win each and every round and get to the very last round and do exactly what they needed to do at the very last moment to win the game or secure the victory. But the victory was already won through the first, second, third quarter. It was only solidified and completed during the fourth. And I want to bring that mindset. I'm going to leave that exact video, one of the greatest videos that I watch that video at least once a week, is as we go into 2019, as this is officially 2018 now, or it depends on what country or what region you're in, uh, it might already be the new year now, depending on your, uh, your uh, was it time or region or where you're at. But let's dominate the first quarter of 2019. We have the immense opportunity now to say, okay, we're sitting in the fourth quarter, the very last day, the very last seconds of 2018, reflecting on what we did, both good and bad. A couple of y'all are hitting yourselves and punching yourselves and say, I could have done this different, I could have done that different. I can have to spend the money on these tennis shoes. I could have went and invested in this. I shouldn't have done that. I uh, didn't do this. I, I I didn't study for the class as much as I should have been. It was a cute girl in the class, and I was focusing more on her than what the professor was writing on the board. X, Y, and Z. You're thinking about everything that you did versus everything that you should have done. And I want to say, oh, oh, I hope that you finished out this year healthy and happy and the best you possible. We then now have grace to step into a new year with a new mindset and a new perspective, a universal idea that there's now new beginnings in 2019. So let's dominate the first quarter. Let's dominate the second quarter. Let's dominate the third quarter, where you want to look at quarters by seasons, by months, by accomplishments, whatever it is. Let's dominate this first quarter of 2019 so we can actually build ourselves and establish ourselves a solid foundation so we continue to rise and elevate. I've never known for anybody to be able to jump high as possible, even Michael Jordan, even Elgin Baylor, or even uh, Dr. J, Julius Irvin, even LeBron James. I've never known for anybody to be able to jump high towards the goal. I'm using that figuratively and physically in the round of them being able to jump to that goal, a dunk or whatever they were doing without first launching from off the ground. So let's launch off the ground with full force, with full speed, establishing ourselves to be the best men possible in every single aspect, continuing ourselves in a, in a space of focus, a, a space of attentiveness, a space of assertiveness, a space and a goal of righteousness, and leading to the path of ultimate manhood and being our best self possible. So in 2019, as we go into this new year, I pray for peace and prosperity among you, your family, your loved ones. And we must ultimately know that whichever goal we want to reach and whichever we want to do, that ultimately faith and works will equal results. So peace and blessing each and every one of y'all. I'm going to see y'all in 2019 and this channel is going to get started and we're going to go in new content. Uh, you see I'm doing the videos a little bit different now. If y'all had to see my teeth and the videos, better, much better quality than the videos, better sound, better everything. We're going to get it started and we're going to do some fun, exciting things. So hopefully y'all be on the journey with me. Keep rocking with me. I'm definitely going to keep rocking with y'all. Peace and blessings and many uh, prosperity, happiness, peace, protection to you and y'all family. See y'all soon.